High Birds Application Smart Bird Feeder Camera FHD. Everything that you get is right here, nicely packaged inside a box. Instruction guide. Carefully go over, read all the information provided. The QR symbol for the camera is located behind the camera that will require to use the smartphone application. You get everything in a box, hardware, your anchors and screws, your solar panel with the tripod that you attach, loosen up and adjust to any angle you want. Face it to the sun and you're good to go. Tighten it up and it won't move. It's a USB-C cable. Supply your own USB-C cable to charge your camera for the first time. You have straps to go around the tree trunk. You take the strap, you pull the mechanism that locks by squeezing in around the tree. To hang the unit, we have a rope with two clamps. You're gonna have a string for the solar panel if using, and you hang. We're gonna set the unit up. It's very simple indeed. You take the birch. On the front there are two holes. You simply snap in each of the holes. Snap in like that. You put the antenna on, you tighten it up. You adjust it to the angle you want. You have a weather resistant cover for the USB-C port, if not using. You have the bracket. You have two thumb bolts. The center thumb bolts goes into the one closest to the front. It locks into place. To adjust your angle, you pick one of the holes that's on the unit, or this. To lock in, pick one of the holes on the unit to lock into place. We're just going to do a 90 degree angle and lock down. The last thing you have is a hummingbird feeder, and inside there is additional things. Simply attach it like so. Unscrew. You have a little spike inside. To open up the unit back here where my index, you lift. Add your seed. To get to the camera and set up your smartphone, take the camera, lift up. The QR symbol required. Plug in the back of the unit. Please configure your Wi-Fi settings. Open up the hybrid app, register, sign in, sign in, sign in. The application is open. Hit the plus, add the device. Take the camera. And scan. Enter your password and network system. When you enter your password, simply take the QR and scan. Please connect to your router. You heard. Next. Try to put the router, the mobile phone, and the device as close as possible. You may have to try a couple of times to get it right. Set a name. Complete. Put your camera back in order and allow it to connect to your device. We have a picture. On the upper left, you have your settings, your tools,
on the camera you have a settings for the device name, battery statistics, share, record settings, HD 1080p, all done via through the camera. We have night vision mode and memory card. You have notifications. You can enable and get transfer information via the net. We have a PIR sensor, moderate, low, and often high. We have a thing that is called squirrel repelling. And we can restart the device and have more. Put a time zone, a mobile phone number, etc. Find a spot for your solar panel. Find a spot for your bird feeder. Add in bird feed. It falls into the tray in the center and whatever comes out of the other will be scattered food. And go hang up. Don't forget to plug in the back. Rotate, adjust, and lock down. Within Wi-Fi range, wait for the birds to come and identify the species through the app and get notified what type of birds, like finches, robins, mockingbirds, cardinals, blue jays, and yes, indeed, squaw, squirrel. So let's sit back and see what we can see from the bird feeder. 